Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here is the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, from your favorite website on all things land, www.thelandgeek.com, as well as your wholesale land connection, FrontierPropertiesUSA.com. And he's older, he's wiser, he's even better looking than he was a few days ago. Duran Frazier from ReserveLand.com and RuralPropertyFinder.com. I'm sitting in a laundry room right now after the most hellacious move ever. I know you're doing better than me. What's going on, buddy? Uh, you know what? I, I probably did a little bit better. I'm still on the downturn from a 36 uh, birthday. Um, and I, you know, I don't feel 36, but I definitely look 36. You think so? Yeah. You know, I think all the, all the, um, properties that I've sold over the years have given me a few gray hairs because it's been so easy. Um, that it's just, you know, I think the gray hairs come for every property. If, if, if I, if I could count the gray hairs, I think it's every property I sold equals one gray hair. Every, that's a lot of gray hair. It's yeah, lot, true. You've moved a true. lot of land. I don't think you have that much hair. That's true. I only have like four left, follicles left. <laughs> so I, w- I, wanted to, I want to talk about my move because it was so hellish that no human being should ever have to endure what I had to endure. My move started at quarter to nine, and I had to kick – these are three movers, by the way, with a truck. I had to kick them out. At two in the morning, they had to come back the next evening. Have you ever heard of anything like this? Uh, you know, I've had a couple of bad experiences, but not that bad. Yeah, I mean, it was unbelievable. I, and then I, had to, you know, the kids had to go to school the next day. I got four hours sleep, absolutely exhausted. And uh, but look, look, I look, I look at. I'm, I'm grateful that there are actually human beings in this world that would take money to move heavy stuff and risk hurting themselves just so that I can sit back and complain. So, you know, when I think about it like that, it was one hard day, but in the big scheme of things, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty fortunate to be able to do that. Don't you think? Well, I mean, you live in a, you haven't told the, the listeners yet that you live in a 15,000 square foot mansion now and that you have an extra office in the back that's 4,000 square feet. So, okay. yes, if they, knew, exactly. they, knew, I, they knew your living situation would be different. I, I will videotape uh, for everybody on my Coffee Talk YouTube videos because my backyard is really beautiful. And uh, the, the casita, which is going to be my office, is nice. But uh, so it's, everything's definitely an upgrade for sure. But the best thing is, is I'm, my location's fantastic. Paradise Valley is amazing. Um, it's, a little, it's a little suburb outside, just outside, a little pocket in Scottsdale. And just very beautiful, older homes. Um, really nice. All right. So let's not talk about me and my hellacious move. But I do want to talk about breaking point. I think it's important that when you start something, whether it's the land business, a new business, anything it is, you've got to, when you start, I want you to hit your breaking point. Do you know what I mean by breaking point? I, I, I want to hear it. I think I know what you mean, but I want to hear exactly what, you, what, you, what you're referring to. The point where you feel like you can't go another minute, where you're so mentally fatigued from working so hard that you're about to break. You know, we're talking about 18-hour days, maybe. I think it's important. I don't think, you know, and this program is not meant to have, you know, 18-hour days. I mean, the whole point is work less and earn more, right, and work smart. But I think it's important that at least you know what your breaking point is. Like, I found my breaking point during this move. And now I know, okay, this is how hard I can actually work and still survive and, and not get sick. So, you don't, obviously, you don't want to get sick because you're trying to, you know, be a hero. But what do you think? Have you ever, have you ever worked so hard that you thought, Okay, this, something's very wrong here. I can't, I can't continue doing this. Uh, you know, I actually, I, I have a very different mindset than you do, Mark. I think for me, 
my brain became so ADHD and I work on so many different things. Right. Um, even if I, even if I could have a breaking point, I don't know if I'd ever get there. Um, but that said, I have had times of emotion going, what am I doing? You know, feel like a point where it's just all coming to head and I'm going to, and I'm going to snap. So I, I think I've, I've been at a couple points in my life going, is this what I should be doing? Is this, is this the right thing? Is this, and so, you know, we, we all do our own sort of meditation. You know, I pray about it. Like, is this the right thing for me to do? And so, and so I'm learning, I'm learning now. And every day we learn about it. What is, what is the point where we go, okay, this isn't working or I put too much effort in this. Let's try something else. So, um, and, it, and I, you know, if I told you I knew how to, how to, how to, correctly identify that breaking point, I'd, I'd be lying. And I don't know if anybody really does know, but I think we, we can all learn sort of our boundaries there. Right, right. But, you know, I think it's important that you push yourself, especially when you first start a new endeavor, where you just think, okay, I can't do this anymore. You know, I'm looking at 50 deals and, and I'm doing all this due diligence and I'm managing this VA and more deals are coming in and now I'm working on the marketing and now I'm working on the copywriting and now I'm trying to do all this technical stuff. Like where, where is it where you say, okay, now I'm, I'm at my, I've hit my point. And I think, I think it's important that you just mentally can know that so that you can know, okay, I'm really capable of doing a lot more than I probably think I could if I just looked at it. You know what I mean? I totally, I agree with you hundred percent. I think, I think that, that uh, we, we definitely all have, uh, you know, boundaries that we can go across at some point, but we, we also need to understand that if we, if we get close to them um, and, we, and, we, and we keep going, we, we could, I mean, it's, it's human nature to snap. It's human nature to, to go beyond our boundaries and push ourselves, but, but it's, also, it's also human nature to, to, to reflect and look back and see how you can fix it for the next time. But we have to control that and we have to learn because, and we can also, those batteries can extend sometimes, right? Like you go, you know what? I got an extra hour here. I can work it. I can sleep. You know, you just kind of work around it. So especially as an entrepreneur and, and as, as a land buyer, you are an entrepreneur. Um, you, you're sort of creating new batteries. You're in a new territory. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're really good at that stuff as far as the creative side of it. I've seen that where you'll, you'll look at a deal. You look at it very differently than me. And you, you, you push the boundaries of what you can do with the deal as far as, you know, can I development, can I do development, can I do a, a, a joint venture with some other group, you know, can we, you know, do something with the mineral rights. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to become more flexible and more creative with my deals, but it's, I, I'll say, you know, I'm struggling with that part of it. Yeah. And, and, and just to give you an idea as, as to where boundaries go, in fact, I'm, I'm at a point today uh, on one of my deals. So for, for the listeners that, that don't listen very often, I, I, I run a 4,400-acre mining project in Nevada. Yeah, it's called Cor Corral Canyon. And, uh, and basically, this project's been going on for about a year. And it's, it's pre-development stage, meaning it's pre-drilling stage project. But we're right there at the drilling stage when we have to go out and we have to raise several million dollars to drill. Right. And we have a handful of investors involved in the project, and we're at a point now where it's literally, for me, it's breaking point because now I put in a lot of time, I put a lot of money, and I've got four other guys that have put in uh, that have put in less money and less time, but we're on equal, we're equal partners, and it's, and I wouldn't say less money, let's just say less time, right. and so for for me, I'm learning how to sort of manage that that frustration or breaking point for me to go i'm done my i'm i'm just letting go i you will go find an investor to solve the problem of of you know and and i and eventually i dilute myself out of the equation on this project but not not out of the equation i mean i'm still an equity owner but i dilute myself a bit you're but not, you're, it, you're not the controlling partner on that project anymore i i i am but I'm, but I'm, we're taking more money, and so we'll have another partner. Meaning, we'll all come down. I mean, I don't own fifty-one percent. No, oh, uh, okay. there's too much money involved. It's a, it's a very large, uh, it's a very large project. So, um, so it's very interesting. But, but as you say that, I, 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 I can say that, like, I get these, these, these moments of frustration. And you know, another, another, for instance, is I, I spend time mentoring companies, and, and on Friday, I had to listen to a company pitch. Uh, about their about their business model, which made absolutely no sense. Yet there was twelve guys in a room that spent an hour, hour and a half of the time doing Q and A with these guys. And I'm thinking to myself, how on earth did this company get in front of us? Like right. this, they're intelligent, but they have no real business model. So I got frustrated, and I kind of let the guy have it. And I said, you know what? Like, what are you doing here? You know, <laughs> you pulled a Shark Tank on the guy. I, I did. I did. You know, I'm not a jerk. But, 
I'm not a jerk, but I, I just go, come on, it's just common sense. Like, right. like think about the people's time that you're wasting before you sit in this room with them. So. You, know what, you know what, though? Honestly, though, I don't think, like, when I think of, like, American Idol or Shark Tank, the real jerky guys that are, like, you know, I, in a way, I almost think they're doing the people a favor. Because they are. They're, they're being so direct. There's no possible inter- other way to interpret what they're saying other than you're wasting your time, go on to something else. And, and when someone can, it's, it's almost like a, a wonderful thing to do for another human being. It's just few people have the courage to really go that, do that direct. And, and here's what's funny, Marcus, is for me, I'm the youngest guy in the room, I think by, I don't know, between five and 10 years. Right. And, and so, and a lot of the other guys are, are just more conservative. They're very nice. And I've been nice, but I've been there for two years. So I feel like in that room, I can sit there and I can kind of be honest. But there's there's one guy that we have. He is exact. He's like the Simon Cow. I call him Simon Cowell of like the startups. Like he is like, he'll grind everybody. Um, and there's there's no, you know, there's no stopping what comes out of this guy's mouth. It's hilarious. Right, um, right. But it's real, it's intelligent. And so we don't, we kind of like, dude, be nice. But at the same time, it's like, let these people know. So right. it's interesting. But I, but I have, so that, that, you know, bring this all back to head. It's like, there's a breaking point when it comes to certain things where I'm like, come on, dude, you're wasting my time. Or come on, like, I don't like, think about it before you waste our time. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I see it with different ventures and different things that I'm working on because I am a type A, always busy working on something new or different. Um, and I am, I'm kind of honing that back a little bit and focusing on, on uh, real property finder, which will now morph into something new, which I'll explain to you soon. Um, it's going to be a new domain name and a new website, uh, not new website, but a new domain name. And we're rebranding a little bit. So it, the cool thing is like, I, I can come back and go, okay, focus time. And now I can sort of, again, those boundaries are extended a little further now because I'm bringing a lot of the time that I'm wasting here and putting it there. Right. Right. That's great. So, That's great. So, so we kind of touched a lot there. Um, you know, what's funny about, uh, you know, like sometimes I'll have a, a land consultation with somebody well, on the investor's toolkit. You know, I do those free 30-minute consultations. And I always ask everybody, you know, what's your background? Have you ever bought and sold real estate? Have you ever been an entrepreneur? And, um, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I think, you know, but I'm nice about it. But there are, there are certain skill sets I think it's going to be more helpful to get started in this business and other skill sets. Like I just met a guy, he owns his own marketing company. That's a phenomenal skill set. You don't need to have any real estate background to be successful in buying and selling land. But if you have marketing background, that's a, don't you think that's a huge leg up? A hundred percent. I mean, obviously marketing is what sells the land. Right. Uh, understanding what a buyer is looking for and solving that buyer's need. Um, that's, that's exactly what you need. So as a, as a seller. So I think that, that, that having that, uh, in, in place of a guy who's an engineer right. or, um, you know, anything that, that maybe that doesn't involve in understanding computers or, you know, like, and there are, I mean, a lot of people will come and go, I don't really know how to work a computer. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't mean you can't sell land. It just makes it a little bit more challenging. Right. And you've so got, you've got to be able to manage that side of it. Either find somebody that knows how to do like, like the tech piece of my business I don't, I don't handle it all. I mean, that's all outsourced. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to learn HTML or how to handle, how to manage, you know, these backend programs or WordPress. You're a WordPress guy, but I don't know how to do any of that. Yeah. And be, and being that that's how I am. Um, it's easier for me to kind of go in when I'm looking at different things or, or new ideas and strategies. Like I'm, I kind of like software. And being being that I'm, you know, I guess I was going to say 35, but 36 now. Being 36, I I kind of get a good, I have a good understanding of everything, right? I can I can build a website, but I don't build websites. I can I can I can write HTML, but I don't do it. I just hire someone else to do it because it's a waste of my time. In my in in, in my mind, I can just I tell them I can do it a lot faster than I can. Like if if there was a gross gross words per minute with HTML, I'm at like one, yeah. uh, where some guy can do it like 70 or 80, and I pay him to do it. So. That's kind of the the um, the strategy is that understanding that you can sort of fix and solve those problems when you're at a breaking point and look outside of your look outside of your 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 you know your your realm and, and go hey that guy can do this and I can pay him a little bit of money to help me and it's not going to cost me a ton and it's going to help me kind of extend my boundary so extend that breaking point. 
Would you remember when you first started started out? Like, did you did you do any ten hour days, twelve hour days, fourteen hour days, trying to figure all this out? Um, you know what, Mark? To be dead honest with you, I did not. Um, if there was a four hour work week, that was me. Um, I really didn't. I, I just happened to fall in uh, to a, to a place where it wasn't as hard. And even now, like because of all the resources we have on the internet, it makes it simple to do. Right. Um, and when I when I kind of finish my land hub concept, I think I, that's the goal is to make everybody that's listening uh, uh, give them a give them a very easy way to basically list a piece of property and syndicate it out to all the other sites um, because it should be basically a one stop shop to basically go, hey, I can market my land everywhere and I can go to Craigslist, I can go to YouTube, I can go, and that's the idea. Is, and that we don't have that. As, as land sellers, we spend a lot of time creating ads for eBay, creating ads for Landwatch, creating ads for Lands of America. Right. And so, so as a seller, I know exactly what's missing and I want to, and I want to fill that void. So oh, that, um, that, that, I, that's going to be huge, by the way. It's going to be such a huge time saver. Yeah. You have no idea. I can't, yeah. I can't wait. I'm, I've got my, I've got a team of four or five developers right now working full time. And, uh, and so that's, that's the idea. I mean, I'm, we're spending some money, but the idea is to create the concept that, I mean, honestly, it's money that I'm spending to help my life, make it easier, make it simpler. I don't have to go hire employees to solve my problem of listing property. Right. Right. So, yeah. You, and, know, you know, it's funny. This, this is what all you were doing though, when you started, see, I had a full time job, so yeah. I would work a full time job. Come home, hang out with the kids. My my son actually I only had one child at that time, so my son was a baby, and uh, you know put the baby to bed, and then I'd work another five six hours, you know doing deals and, and researching land. But the great thing about this is, it, you know, you can do it from anywhere. All you need is an inexpensive computer, and uh, and now the tools are so much better than when we first started. Don't you think? Yeah, and as, as, as you can tell with your kids in the background, I mean, literally, I mean, Mark and I could sit because we both work out of the home offices, and, uh, and, it, and it's, it's, a, it's a lot, it's, a lot, it's really simple for us to work out of the house because all we need is a computer, and in this case, it's a microphone, so. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. So what's, uh, what's going to be your tip of the week? You're not going to yell, yell at me this week, are you? Um. If you give me a reason to, I will. Why don't you go ahead and start? Why don't you give me your tip of the week, and I'll, I'll yell at you for that. Did, did, have I talked about Optimized Press? You have not, not yet. Okay, so Optimized Press is a, it's like a WordPress theme or a WordPress plugin, and it makes you, it helps you make landing pages, sales pages, um, really easily, and it's ninety nine bucks for ten sites. And I think it's 197, or maybe it's more than that. I don't know. Maybe I got a special deal. I'll have to go. But they just came out with a new version. It looks really nice, plug and play, very easy, and uh, it can really help you with your marketing. You know, I was hoping you'd go for like one more, one more second, so I can just figure out what my tip of the day was, um, because I really don't have one today, Mark. Not I'm so. I'm, dream. I'm, I'm, this is the format. There's always I'm, a tip. I, okay, you know, I do have a great tip. Okay. I just had to push you. I have a great tip. Folks, there's a great tip here. Um, in, in fact, it's, it's just a resource. It's a tool. It's something you can use. It's free. Uh, there's a website called forwardmetrics.com. Uh, I have to check this out. At least it's not. What, what is that, that site we were talking about? Earth Clinic? It's, it's way better than Earth Clinic. Actually, it's way worse than Earth Clinic. Uh, forwardmetrics.com is basically it's a visual planning and execution software, like a goal setting software. And if you go on that website and you go to, I just gotta find it while I'm while I'm here. Um, there's a, there's a, there's amazing blogs, and I let me just see here. Uh, it's called FM Connect. Oh, and yeah, I, I see I, it. I, FM Connect. Okay, and I'll tell you guys that this this company I'm invested in. I'm on the board of, um, but it's actually a, I've written several articles under um, under entrepreneurship. Um, and you guys can read what goes on in my brain. Um, there's some stuff in there. I don't actually, I go on around, I don't see my articles, but, um, you'll, you'll check, you click it, you can search my name. Um, but there's great articles that I've written, but it's just uh, giving you ideas on, on how to solve problems, strategic planning, goal setting kind of helps you. It's just, a, it's free tools. It's free. People just write. So, uh, and, for, and they're for really, really talented people on this website. So, this looks um, really cool. 
yeah. So um, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I, it's pretty neat. I think if you go in the search bar, you can search my name under Duran and probably pull up my articles. Um, we'll find out I'm doing it right now. Um, yeah, there's, there's several articles that'll pull up once you, once you search my name. So, um, so that's, that's something that you guys can utilize. Uh, you know, like I, I've got articles in there from spontaneous entrepreneurship, the importance of goal setting for entrepreneurs. Um, and, and remember, no matter what you say, you're, you by taking this, this, uh, risk of buying and selling land, like that's, that's what you are. You're an entrepreneur. So you're, you're, you're in so defined. much trouble. I'm looking at your pictures. You, you stole my, my slides. Where? From what? I don't know. What, what slide? What are my uh, things? Uh, these are all from uh, from iStock Photo, buddy. Yeah, iStock Photo. I use yeah. the same exact slides. That's that's fine. I didn't, I, these are these are uh, yeah. They they use these, not me. But anyway, Incredible. genius, 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 genius. By so, genius entrepreneurship. This is great. This is great. Well, so, Duran, I, I apologize to everybody. I'm in a laundry room. I apologize for the background noise. Uh, I promise the next podcast is going to be much smoother than this one. So stick with us. And, uh, you know, this is, you know, moving is just tough. It's, it's, been, it's been miserable. So, Duran, you got any last minute thoughts? Uh, you know what? That the listeners uh, realize that we are, we're here to help you guys. We're here. I mean, you know, I, I get I get emails on LinkedIn from people that listen to our podcast, which is really neat. You know, for me, it's I'm I, you know I'm not on this planet to to make a ton of money and and to die rich. I'm on this planet to help people, um, and then making money is kind of a, a, a you know just 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 means to sort of enjoy and help more people. So I I, I enjoy helping and listening and getting emails from you people. So please, as as listeners, continue to listen and ask questions. That's what we're here for. Yeah, and you know what? And leave us some feedback on iTunes or or, or on the uh, blog as well. Let us know what you want to uh, hear about and listen to. I'm going to get back into the coffee talk segment, and I'll be doing it from my new uh, office and and out in the backyard. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, listening. So learn more. Download for free the Passive Income Blueprint at thelandgeek.com. Get some wholesale land. Go to FrontierPropertiesUSA.com. Give Duran a little love, won't you? Go to ReserveLand.com. And, of course, RuralPropertyFinder.com, LandHub.com, and... uh, Make it an extraordinarily productive week. And you know what? Do something this week to stretch yourself. I'm not saying hit your breaking point this week, but I do think at some point in time, it's good to know that you can really stretch and you'd be surprised at how much you can really do. So this is Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Trent. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.